ಓಂ ಗುರುರಂ ಮಹಾ ಗುರು ವಿಷ್ಣು ಗುರುದೇವೋ ಮಹೇಶ್ವರ ಗುರು ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ ಪರಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುವೇ ನಮಃ ಧ್ಯಾನ ಮೂಲ ಗುರುಮೂರ್ತಿ ಪೂಜಾ ಮೂಲ ಗುರುಪದ ಮಂತ್ರ ಮೂಲ ಗುರುರ್ವಾಕ್ಯ ಮೋಕ್ಷ ಮೂಲ ಗುರು ಕೃಪಾಂಜಾ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಫೋರ್ ತ್ಯಕ್ತ್ವಾ ಕರ್ಮ ಫಲ ಸಂಗ ನಿತ್ಯ ತೃಪ್ತೋ ನಿರಾಶ್ರಯ ಕರ್ಮಣ್ಯಭಿಪ್ರವತ ಕಿಂಚನ್ ಕರೋತಿ ಸಹ ತ್ಯಕ್ತ್ವಾ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಲಿವಿಂಗ್ ಕರ್ಮ ಫಲ ಸಂಗಂ ಇಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ರಿಸಲ್ಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸರ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಕ್ಟ್ ವಿದೌಟ್ ಅಟ್ಯಾಚ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ದೆಮ್ ನಿತ್ಯ ತೃಪ್ತ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಸ್ಯಾಟಿಸ್ಫೈ ಎವ್ರಿ ಟೈಮ್ ಆಫ್ ನೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಆತ್ಮ ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ಕಾರ ಬೈ ನೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಆತ್ಮ ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ಕಾರ ನಿರಾಶ್ರಯ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವಿದೌಟ್ ಸಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಎನಿ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಎನಿ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಎನಿ any person any god and goddess of divinity nirashita means person will stand by all strength karmani it means in the acts in the karmas abhi prava abhi pravata means skilled use of life api means also na means not eva means also kinchit means minutely or negligibility karoti means do sa means that so the word meaning is that those has no attachment in any action and no attachment in result of action no pleasure no sore no pain in act not taking support of this worldly god and goddess or anything or any human or any worldly support they live inner pleasure of god atma every time he does every essential work as a wise skilled doer and but never do any work actually satguru sachidananda paramatma the emperor of unlimited galaxies the lord krishna saying to his dearest and nearest disciple arjuna he is saying about gyanis the supreme knowing persons of this divine top secret atma sakshatkar that stays karma and the karma fruits never affect on that person who has achieved this last stage of knowledge because his doer is gone his inner doer is gone only the knower is present so i say in my previous discourse when you enlight there is no mind there is no intellect there is no ego anything not but 
you presence there. So in this stage of knowing awareness, detach everything, everything detach for that person. Then he comes and stand forever in a super saturated stage. He feel, he knows everything, he get everything, he cannot need anything, he do not need anything, no desires. He fully filled and submerged in the divine pleasure that is that is the stage of Atma Sakshatkara. So the Lord Krishna says about this stage. The next thing Lord Krishna is saying he does not need any type of worldly support or he does not need any divine support also of any so-called God and Goddess of, of the heaven. No. He never need other sources or he never need of the support of books, temples, holy, holy places, monks, gurudwaras and he do not need any support because he always stand in the God's presence within his living existence. So, he, wherever he is stand, he is a living temple. You know, God never need to support anything as his inner presence of God is now Abakan. I want to repeat. His inner presence of God now Abakan. So you know the God do not need any support. He is the living God on this earth. So He is the base of all, the support of all, the seekers of this world. He support them. Then how he live? The last part of this stanza, the Krishnas want to describe you how he live and works in this mortal world. He knows he is immortal. Presence of divinity total detachment, total detached, no interest in result of the karmas, but he doing karmas because the welfare of seekers, no need of karmas, fruits, but he seems to take fruits. He knows All the false illusion is there of karmas and maya. He knows very well that illusion and he come out from this Ill illusion. He knows and awaken in the his, uh, his divine states. He awaken from the dreamy stage of this world also of day-to-day -day life, 
he live in peace he no the awakened world can give you only unhappiness every time he knows that the our unawakened world the blind world is like a big fire and you can you can not search any cool thing in this fire he knows so when he see the reality of this world he do the effort and seek the master and go to the master and he achieve this enlightenment so he was seeking the alternate of truth and pure presence of the ultimate peace after the searching and doing the meditation of awareness in the guidance of enlightened master he stand in the atma sakshatkara and awake and aware from illusions of maya then how the how he interested in the false and fake untrue karmas as a king cannot eat by in by the plate of a beggar and never can drink the water of gutter as the enlightened person cannot involve in the worldly desires and worldly illusions as he cannot involve in the fake illusions because he very well known that illusion is not true but he live and use the body like an instrument and do all the works as the other doing in this sense because he is awakened he does not doing anything because he is not standing in the place of doer so the krishna says he do not do anything reality he is not doer everyone if he ever he if he awake in the knower the knower is not doer so the knowing is the supreme and doing is not supreme so i request you all of you please stand in your knowing stand in your being stand in our atma sakshatkara and never be live unpleasant life in this worldly illusion shiva